Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. I am the nail lady. So in this video, as promised, I am doing part two of my graduation nails. So remember the first video, we did our chrome, correct? Now we're moving on to the gemstones. So, so um, again, in this video, I'm finishing off my um, graduation nails. So we're going to start with the thumbnail. Um, it's it's kind of intricate, all of this design. Um, a lot of um, crystal placement, a lot of uh, caviar bead placements. Um, I just wanted to show you my collection of my caviar beads. Okay, so I have this, and it is from, oh lord, where is it? It is from Recollections, and so it has different caviar beads in it, which I love. And you can get this from Michaels. I also have another one. Same, um, same brand. And it has just different caviar beads. Alrighty, so anyway, back to the video. Um, yeah. So, we're gonna start with Sculptor Gel, Clear Sculpt, and also use Top Coat. Now, if you guys are aware of this concept, it is, um, like the gummy jellies with the Top Coat. Um, it's used to kind of like cellophane the gemstones all together. So basically when you put it into the UV lamp, it's going to, um, shrivel, not shrivel, it's not going to be shrivel, but it's going to en enclose your stones onto your nails. Like, um, if you were ever to put heat onto cellophane or saran wrap, um, yeah, so that's what it'll do. So it'll hold it all together. So you're gemstones won't go off anywhere okay so basically the only place that we're going to be putting this clear sculpt is where we're placing our stones so I'm going to start off with the thumb and we have a larger stone at the top here and we draw that down I am using um, Young Nails Clear Sculpt up here. A little bit. Rock that like that. And then keep it moving. Um, so, yes, I am currently in the process of going back to school in order to finish um, my classes. I've already got my license, but I want to get my advanced aesthetic. So it goes from like lashes, waxing, um, facials, etc., to um, laser hair removal and laser treatments, um, as well as going from <clears throat> working in a regular spa in salon setting to now working in a medical spa setting, which is, which means um, you're going to be working under physicians, um, dermatologists, um, you know, in the medical sense. So you're doing manual limb drainage, you're doing, um, you're working with um, cancer patients, um, you're working with corrective surgery, so maybe as far as an esthetician is concerned, you're doing like um, like um, camouflage makeup for those who are fresh out of surgery and have like wounds or scars that need healing. You're camouflaging it, or you're doing um, laser hair removal. And tattoo removal. So, <clears throat> on my brush here, um, we're not going to have a lot, but we're not going to have a little. I'm going to just dabble on up top. 
the excess and then I'm wiping my brush off. <clears throat> but then we're going to just literally paint right over it. I know it's weird, but effective. So it's like, why put all of that on just to brush it down? Well, it looks like it's being brushed away, but honestly, it's still right there. And so initially, I want it to be an esthetician. This was years ago. I mean, like, over a decade. I want it to be one, but what happened was I was doing my grandmother's nails in um, her office building um they call it a clubhouse it's where all the elderly folks meet up to you know hang out bingo you know shooting pool whatever it is that they want to do down there they have celebration like holiday dinners and such so um i was doing her nails and then more um lady started walking up to me asking me to do their nails and I was like sure why not like so I was just basically doing the lady's nails in my grandmother's senior citizen community and um then they started asking me well do you do acrylic nails do you do the fake nails do you do the fake nails well no ma'am I'm sorry I actually don't do that I'm not educated in that so I won't be doing it um, well, more and more and more requests came in, so therefore, I was like, you know what, why not? Why not build a skill set? Why not go to school for this? And clearly, you know, people are wanting to buy, <laughs> people are wanting this request, so I was like, you know what, let me just go to school for this. Um, and so I did, but... I always still wanted to go back for aesthetics. Um, um, so I'm using a crayon because if you watch my videos, you definitely know that I like to save where I can. Here's the here's the thing. If you're using Swarovski and, you know, high-end everyday life, it's different than Swarovski, okay? So if you're using glass stones or, um, I forget what the other kind of stones are called. Um, just, you know, the, the stuff you can get from, like, Dollar Tree or whatever. Those kind of stones. Then, you know, costume jewelry stone. Then, do what I'm doing. If you're using Swarovski, maybe up your, um, thing to, like, a crystal, um, wand or whatever it's called that picks up the stones but for me I'm not doing all of that because this will work just fine so I only use the color in which these are so like a green or a yellow or a pink um, these are not going to they're not going to mess up your stones basically because um, they only pick it up and if you have a problem with it picking up, just do this. It's just like when shoot and pull and you use that chalk to help you kind of grip it. That's what it is. So, yeah, I just use a crayon that you can get from the Dollar Tree. Keep it moving. You don't have to spend all your money up especially when you're like a new business or a new nail tech um, I don't know if I had all these stones yeah so I was like real 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 extra on my nails for graduation because again I don't really wear bling like that so I just wanted to be extra for the day <laughs> So I'm using a dual-ended um, dotting tool. So you have one that's, I mean, it's small, but it's not this, which is completely like no um, 
ball at the end. And so I'm using that in to push it down into that gummy jelly or sculpting gel. So next part we're going to do, I'm going to just touch the nail. And then I'm going to be picking up my caviar beads. Circle it around a little bit. I'm just going to pick up all of these beads. And then I'm just going to set them right on it. Because the next thing is I'm going to um, enclose every single one of these with these stones. You guys, I am still working on learning how to edit properly. So I don't really know how to do that whole fast forwarding thing yet <laughs> so um, hopefully I figure it out by the time I do this video because that would be great Alrighty, it looks like we are about done with this thumbnail. Just making some minor tweaks, make sure everything is in its place. Um, if you couldn't tell, I'm pretty particular about when I place the balls and the stones and everything else. That's the perfectionist of every nail tech, unfortunately. We just won't let it go. <laughs> Cannot let it go, can we? Even now, I'm pretty much done, and I'm still not done. Yeah, that's an unfortunate truth. We um are very particular. Now, if you don't care, you don't care. But I like it to look gorgeous, baby, gorgeous. All right, uh, please. <laughs> do that as soon as possible in the UV lamp get that cure because we don't want nothing out of place so what I've done with these is I've already just set the stones out in place you can't tell because they're so close together but I know what they are so basically I knocked these out of place but it's okay so this is going to be the index ring I'm sorry index metal ring and pinky um, the best way to do crystals, if you're having a particular design, is just to set it out just like this. That way you know exactly what you're working with, what sizes you're working with, how it's going to look laid out on the nails. And then you just use the caviar beads to fill in the blanks. So there's honestly no need to even fully 
cure this yet. You can just turn it off and move on to the next one. Alright, so on to the next. Back to the clear sculpt. Honestly, this is so small you probably wouldn't even want to bother, but I'm going to. Safety measurements. So you're just going to lie down your design kind of with the um, sculpting gel. I'm not actually wiping this off. I'm actually pulling that gel that's down on the um, stick here. I'm pulling it all to the tip. So it's not everywhere, just at the tip where I'm using it. And then what you just wiped off, you wipe onto the ball. So for me, I was just winging it on the design, which is why all the nails are completely different. Alrighty, back to the show, folks. Same as before. Cellophane. By the way, you guys, have you heard? Have you seen that music video, Cellophane by FK Twigs? She's so amazing. She's just leveling up her skills, man. Her voice is phenomenal. Her dancing is just amazing. She's really great. No promo, I was just a fan. <laughs> I am just a fan. And I always give shout outs to where it's due because that woman is amazing. Like, seriously. People don't give her enough credit as far as her skill set. Anyway, back to the show. Okay, so. Man, I love my job. <laughs> I love making nails. Creations. I love being able to be like a designer and artist. Be creative. Alrighty, finish with this one and cure that sucker in the place. Okay, you guys, so it is like so wild right now because I could have sworn that my video was recording this entire time. Uh, my phone just felt like, um, no thank you, so that's why the middle one is done already. Um, my apologies, um, but let's get on to the ring finger, okay? So, um, I posted a photo of my Sharpie nails, which you can find on my Instagram page, and um, I got a request to do a um, tutorial. So, um, if you guys have any like requests for specific types of nails that you want to see, um, even like a recreation um, of my old sets, go ahead and leave a comment um, either on my YouTube or my Instagram and I'll be sure to get back to that and see what I can do about recreating 
a few of my looks. The reason that I'm brushing so much is because I'm manipulating the sculpt gel to where I want it to be. But I don't know what kind. I like these unburgundy ones and the like the mint ones are nice. Mhm. Mm like the orange ones. I don't understand cow prints so I don't either, but people that's like it, so thing. I mean. That's just fun to do. Well, you know, I'm creating for the for the yeah, for the people. <laughs> this is what I'm working on. Just a little, kind of, sort of, like, test. It's jelly nails on natural nail color with chrome. Tell me what you guys think. Mm -hmm. Anyway, just something I'm trying out. All right, let's give that a full cure, 100% full cure. So I know my nails are crazy, but that's simply because I am, I was testing out a new polish, well, different polishes, obviously, um, to see what I was into. Um, I didn't top coat it because I was just looking to see what I liked. Um, so yeah, that's why it looks so crazy. Mm -mm -mm. Alrighty, everybody, these are the final looks. 
Tell me what you think of my graduation news.